Hi everyone, welcome to the VRE Tutorials. This tutorial was brought to you by the Robertson Library at the University of Prince Edward Island. Today we're going to talk about uh, creating new page content on your VRE using the Faculty of Science at the University uh, as an example here. So we're going to log in with your username and password. So when I log in, there are a number of items that uh, are now available to me. Uh, on my left hand side, I can see that I have access to the Environmental Studies Committee as well as the Science, Health and Safety Committee. That is because my, my user role, Esther Tester, has been assigned access to those two committees. Today we're going to click on the Environmental Studies Committee and we're going to be making uh, an addition. We're going to add the child page to this section. So to add the child page to a section of the site, we'll click on the Add Child Page link at the bottom here. This brings us to a Create Content page. Because each section of the website, in this case Environmental Studies Committee, is considered to be a book, we are now creating a book page. We'll start by entering a title. An important part here will also be the audience who is going to see it, in this case the Environmental Studies Committee. It is very important to make sure you select the access control for your page that you're creating. Then we can enter some content. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to save. Looks good. Now let's go back to the main section and we'll see where this page is. So this page is listed just underneath BES major subcommittee. Where I want it to be is underneath program documents. So I need to adjust where it sits in the overall outline for those pages. And I can do this by selecting program documents and having a look under outline to see what number that page has been allocated. The weight or the order that this page has been allocated is a three. In order for our test page to fall underneath, I'm going to need to allocate it a number four. So we'll go back to where we were and I'm going to edit the outline for my test page. Right now it's seen as weight 0, and we're going to give it a weight of 4. Now if I wanted to, it to appear above everything, I would give it a lighter uh, or a lower number. So chances are, in order to get it to be appear first, I would need to get into the negative digits. So we're just going to update this as a number 4. And then we'll go back to the main section, and we'll see that it is in fact appearing in the right spot. So this looks great, but the next thing I'm going to need to do is add a bit more content to my test page. So I'm going to click on the test page and we're going to make some changes. To do that we click on edit at the top. Now everything looks good up here, but under the body currently we only have some text. So we're going to put in a link to uh, another website. We're going to choose the university homepage for this example. Uh, the way we do that is by using our nice icons at the top here. Uh, this one is for inserting a link and so we're going to click on it. And it uh, allows us to just put in uh, the information for that website address. We're going to put www.upei.ca uh, we don't need to select uh, the HTTP part of the address because it's specified here. 
If we're going to put in a, a website which is secure, then we can select HTTPS from the drop down here. But in most cases, we'll just need HTTP. And we'll press OK. And there's our link. So in addition to having a, a link on this page, I'm also going to want to put in an image. And I'll do that by using uh, the image icon above, by selecting it there. And I can either type in the address for an image, which is already residing somewhere uh, on a web server, or I can look for it on the server that I'm on. So it brings me to a, a file browser and allows me to either choose uh, the existing images that are uploaded or to, uh, to upload one myself. In this case, I'm going to select a picture, uh, which is the, um, the logo for the university, and I'm going to send it to the CK editor. I'm going to press OK, and there is the university logo. The final thing I'm going to want to do is add an attachment to this page. In many cases, you want to add attachments for minutes or for just additional documentation. Uh, this is how we do it. We'll go to Edit. And we'll scroll all the way down to a section called File Attachments. Now, here I can browse my local hard drive. And I'm going to just select a sample uh, file. I'm going to choose the uh, swimming schedule for the university. And I'm going to attach it. Now make note that um, your maximum upload size is 200 for this particular website. And uh, ensure that you're using the file extensions that it's specified uh, within the file attachment section. The important things here uh, to note, it has uploaded. We want to make sure that it remains private. It, it will be uh, selected by default, but if by chance it gets deselected, please ensure that it's private to remain uh, within the view of uh, those who have access to that portion of the site. You can also modify the description um, of, of your uh, upload to make it more user friendly. And I'm just going to call it Winter Swim. And, uh, and we'll save it. And there it appears under attachments. A final task to cover, which is quite important, is learning how to delete things uh, from your pages and uh, also to delete a page. Um, let's go into the edit section of the test page and we're going to um, delete the attachment that we just added. So in the edit view, we'll scroll back down to the attachment area. Now, what we want to do here is select the delete checkbox. And we'll scroll to the bottom, and we do not select delete because that's going to be used to delete the entire page. We just want to select deletion of the file attachment. So in this case, we're going to select save. That has removed the attachment. Very important uh, to note the difference between deleting an attachment and deleting a page. So now we've done everything we need to do with this page. Uh, now we're going to learn how to delete it. To do that, uh, we go into Edit. We scroll down to the very bottom. And we will select Delete. And uh, it will ask you if you're, if you're sure uh, that you want to do this, and we do in this case. And that's it. Now we double check by going back to the main section. And in fact, it has been removed.